Hello, today I will show how to use the NVivo add-on feature called nCapture to capture online news articles as part of data collection in NVivo. Perhaps you are interested in using online news articles as part of data collection or data analysis for one's research project, and so this feature from NVivo called nCapture is a good way to collect these news articles in a single database and then also analyze them uh, after coding these articles in NVivo. And so I will show how to capture these publicly accessible news articles and journals, which can be captured as PDF files and then imported into NVivo for analysis. This is an example of a online news article that perhaps I am interested in capturing as part of my data collection and the subsequent data analysis. And so I've pulled it up using Google Chrome. And now that I have this article, you notice that there are plenty of advertisements and excessive images and wording all over the article that I do not want to capture as part of my data collection. And so NCAPTURE has an option where we simply or only select the data that is the written text and not the images. And so you will select in the top row this puzzle piece, which is the extensions, which are the Google Chrome extensions. And a part of that it includes the NCAPTURE extension. So I will select that. And if this is my first time using NCAPTURE, which it, which it is, I will then make sure I accept the terms and conditions of using NCAPTURE. And then I am offered these two options. I can either capture this web page as a PDF or I can capture it as an article as PDF. So the main difference here is if you select web page as PDF, it will also capture all of this excess content, all of these advertisements, and all of this imagery that perhaps you might not be interested in. So if you select article as PDF, you'll notice that all of the images go away and you are only left with the text, which is what I am interested in. So I will select article as PDF. You also have an option to provide a brief description or even a memo. And so this might be helpful in organizing the different types of content that you are capturing. So here I might write AI and climate change. And in the memo, I might write something more informal or casual. The memo can be used as a journal. You can also access these memos as notes in NVivo after you've captured the data. So here I might say, first article, look at climate change angle. You also have an option to code at nodes. And so coding is part is a very important part of the NVivo process. I will show in later tutorials how to code, but even here at the very beginning of gathering one's data, you can also code it. Uh, and so I don't have any codes prepared, but maybe I want to code climate change as part of my research project. And so here I will select capture. It should only take a couple of seconds and Google Chrome will let me know that it has captured this article as part of a .nvcx file, which you will need at this point the NVivo software installed on your computer in order to view the imported file.